Mull is the largest island of the Inner Hebrides. From the summit of Ben Moor to the shores of the Many Lochs, the UK's fourth largest island supports a fascinating array of life. The majority of Mull's native species are to be found along the shore and numerous rivers running from crag to loch and sea. These include some of Scotland's most iconic wildlife, such as the elusive otter and the majestic white-tailed eagle. A keen eye might spot the golden eagle with its impressive two-metre wingspan soaring above Mull's highest peaks, using its excellent vision to locate unsuspecting prey. Whilst the majority of its food sources, which range from prey as large as sheep to as small as frogs, are to be found at lower altitudes, the golden eagle prefers to nest high on isolated crags. Golden eagles often remain paired for life and may return to the same nest site for several years. During the warmer summer days, the island's red deer prefer to escape the midday heat up on the eagle's high and windy peaks. The red deer is the UK's largest deer species, with the stags reaching two metres in length. And, true to their name, most sport reddish-brown summer coats, with some being flecked with white spots. The red deer are currently thriving on Mull, inhabiting woodlands, hillside and moorland. On their evening forays down the hills, they may encounter their smaller cousins, the fallow deer, which are easily recognisable by their light build and pale spotted coats, perfectly adapted for hiding in forests. Down at the sea loch, the cry of the oyster catcher adds to the continuous soundtrack of the lapping waves. These excitable black and white birds use their fluorescent orange beaks to probe the shores for shellfish exposed by the ebbing tide. They nest on the ground, laying two to three eggs, which the male and female take turns to incubate. These brave birds are vigilant protectors of their nests, swooping and crying, encircling any unwanted visitor, such as the otter. This water-dwelling mammal is mostly known for living in the UK's rivers, but here on Mull, as in other parts of Scotland, the otters are more commonly found fishing in sea lochs, returning to freshwater rivers to clean the salt from their fur. They have a varied diet, including fish, jellyfish, crustaceans and small birds. They like to hunt whilst the rising tide brings fish into shallower waters, regardless of the time of day. Here on Mull, with such a plentiful food source, the otter territories are densely populated along the 480 kilometres of coastline. The female otter cares for her cubs in the halt, and she will take them into the water at two months old once their coats have developed a waterproofing layer of oil. Meanwhile, the dog otter, who has no involvement in the raising of his cubs, will spend his days fishing close to shore. Usually, when hunting, otters will spend about two to three minutes submerged. And after a long day's fishing, nothing beats a snooze in the sun.